Okay, so welcome back. Now what I want to do is um, add some features to this cube. I'm going to um, add some feature lines to the front face of this object here. And it's really quite simple. Uh, you basically use a white and black pencil, but you make sure that you're running back to the vanishing point. And it's just trying to create a re recessed line and then a highlight line right next to each other. So you go white, black, white, black, right next to each other, just to create a feature on your product that you know has got this sci-fi kind of look to it. But when I'm drawing this, you want to make sure that every single line that you draw is going back to this vanishing point. Might use the black pencil there. So I don't wreck my fine liner. One more in there. And then another way. So all I've done there to create this feature is just use white, black, white, black to create this recessed edge. Um, I might even put some rivets across the front here also. So we've got some feature lines. I might put some rivets along here, give it this metallic appearance. Now again, using the same principle as the light coming down onto this part here, if I were to highlight this pencil, you can quite clearly see from the light that the top part of it is white and the bottom part of it is... Um, Sorry, probably a bit closer if I come in a bit closer here. You can see that quite clearly the reflection of the light here on the pencil being white on the top because it's got a dome appearance and black on the bottom. So I'm going to create a couple of dome nuts across the top here. And this is quite easy. Um, it's, but you do have to draw an ellipse, but I'm going to do the top of it white and the bottom of it black. Again, I'm going to go do the next one. Top of it white. Make, make sure that they're nicely spaced apart. And I would also make sure that you follow the notion that all lines go to the vanishing point. So I'm going to draw a grey lead line in there to make sure that I am staying in a straight line to the vanishing point. Uh, draw the top part of it white, bottom part of it, of it in shadow. Again, go further, white. And so on. All the way, I'm going to just do the whites instead of alternating all the time. And obviously, by using the black or darker marker um, earlier on, it has made my white pencil, white pencil stand out a lot more. So, there's some rivets. I might put some uh, rivets maybe on the top face here also. Or, um, I don't know, maybe we put some screws or something. Actually, I might put some screws in here. We'll put one here and one here. Go around and yeah, we'll do that, put in some screws. So, in order to do the screws, same principle. Instead of doing dome cap now, I'm just going to make it um, have a hole that the screw goes into. I'm going to do another hole here that the screw goes into, and then another hole that the screw goes into here. Now, the screw will also be in white highlight across the top, white highlight across the top, highlight across the top. But what you'll also find is that for that screw, you're going to have to have that line that goes in the middle so you can get your screwdriver into there. And look at that, I almost don't even need any dark black there to give the appearance of screws. I'm going to put another couple here because I like those. One, two. Now, we haven't done this yet, but you do need to know how to draw ellipses so that they go the right way. And then put this screw thing that goes through the middle. All right, maybe do it. Put a cut down here. So on this face, the circles go this way. On this face, the circles go the other way. Put two here. white highlight on top of the screw and the notch for the screwdriver. Alright, so there you've got feature lines, there you've got rivets, there you've got screws. Um, you know, there's a whole host of things that we can add to this to make it look more sci-fi, but I think you know, that's sort of a good start. Um, if you could add that, that would be great in your drawing.